Jamaica, what's up? It's good to be back with you after such a long time. There is a gay agenda for Jamaica. I don't know how many of you know this, but I like to call it Sodom and Gomorrah 2.0. And we all know why Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed based on biblical accounts. It's not just because it was wicked. It's an abomination in the most high eyes. Men with men, women with women, it was really vile. Um, what we're noticing actually is that there is a growing increase in tolerant and positive attitudes. So between the last one in 2019 and now, we've seen a, sh a bump of 8% in tolerant po and positive attitudes from 24% in 2019 to 32% now. So we're almost at one third of the population getting worse and worse so the agenda is high these are the type of families they want to bring to jamaica take a look at this that's the kind of families they want the joys of family life or the lgbt community living in jamaica is affected from youth to adulthood within the home youth are confronted with the issue of self-discovery coming out and cultural response to gender and sexual identity the current legal and policy framework in Jamaica is minimal in recognition of the same sex relations and protections afforded to LGBT couples. Look, I agree with them. This is not what the most I want. This is not what y'all want. Why would you want to bring these types of families to Jamaica? Look at this again. These are the kind of families they have in mind for Jamaica. It's part of what they call the gay agenda for Jamaica. And it's getting pretty hostile. And... There are even some persons in the churches that are open to them. I mean, they can't be of the most high if they're open for this kind of thing. Listen to this good. What it tells us is that our community still has certain experiences. We are still seeing high levels of violence and discrimination facing our community. And actually, based on when we previously did our, need, our community needs assessment in 2019, there's been an increase from 73% to um, upwards of 80% of members of our LGBT community facing um, discrimination. We're also seeing an increase in the number of persons who face displacement. That means they've been put out of their homes. Is the gays against the church, for example. Um, and actually in our dialogue with people of faith, that's not always been the experience. So let's be clear. There are members of the faith community that, that are vehemently opposed to us having our rights protected, to us having the same access to public goods as everyone else, because they think that's a stepping stone to something way more nefarious. But there are members of the faith community that have been open to us. I mean, you listen, you listen to that and it's just, it's just horrible, man. So we have a problem. If I know Jamaicans, they're not going to take this on board. Listen to this message from the executive director. The gay agenda is that thing you hear repeated ever so often, but have absolutely no idea what it really is and entails. You never hear lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, LGBT persons talk about it, but you believe it is this mysterious, elusive, nefarious thing that one must be wary of. The agenda is about creating possibilities and hope for everyone through our boldness or stellar contributions to community and nation building, a resolve to help others live the truth, to defy the odds, and to be the best selves unapologetically. So this is what they want to say is the gay agenda, but you just listened to the guy before. You saw the photos of the kind of families they want to bring. This is just all about getting your mind in a certain direction. The gay agenda. It's nothing about, it's all about breaking up families the way Yah says it really should be. Guess what? Here's a snapshot of LGBT Jamaicans and the law and Charter of Rights. They're saying there are 19 rights in Shime, Charter for Jamaican citizens, right? And uh, Certain ch laws challenge in Section 18 recognizes only heterosexual relations, which is good. Trans recognition. Trans persons are not recognized by law by virtue of the ruling in Corbett and R.V. Tan. Trans recognition legislation is needed. So you're saying that is needed in Jamaica. So the law does not recognize trans. And that's good. Keep it like that. Citizenship cannot be passed to the same sex partners of Jamaicans married abroad. So you go to the U.S., you married a man. That's not, you can't get citizenship in Jamaica. If you look at what is happening in the US, children as far as four, three, four, five, they're being told about how to change themselves to to be um, a girl or a boy and you wanna be a girl, that's okay. And if you're a girl and you wanna be a boy, that's okay. They're training them and they're expending monies on this in the US. You don't want it in the Caribbean. It's just absolutely horrible what's taking place right now. Now, the point about this is why would anybody, any man want to look like this? 
Why would you want to put yourself through all that drama to just look like this? This is just terrible. Look at this. This is a man. Too many Jamaicans of trans experience have a low quality of life and standard of living. Well, that's the choice you made. That's the choice you made. If you were made a man, stay a man. I mean, some people say, well, you know, we are here, we're bashing this, we're bashing that. That families are between man and woman. Up to today, no one can even show me where two men could bring a child into this world. They can't even show me where two women can bring a child into this world. They must adopt. Or they would take an egg from a man, put it there, but still has to come from a man. So there's no way that both of them, both of the same sex, can conceive a child. Yeah, they didn't make it that way. Opposite sex, and that is why man and woman can conceive a child. So let's keep it that way. But Jamaica, leave your comments in the section below. Let's hear from you, all right? Until next time, I know you're going to do what's right.